A battle is underway over the world's food supply and Africa is ground zero. China's long-term investment in African nations is turning the continent into a breadbasket to feed the Chinese. Throughout history, China has played a vital role in unveiling some of the world's most profound mysteries. Whether it's groundbreaking advancements in technology, space exploration, or the unraveling of enigmatic natural phenomena, China continues to captivate the global scientific community with its astonishing revelations. In this exploration, we delve into the latest perplexing revelation from China, a discovery that has left scientists scratching their heads, pondering the boundaries of what we know and what lies beyond, from mysterious cosmic occurrences to baffling natural wonders. In this episode, we'll delve into China's new discovery that has baffled scientists. This is Reveal the Mystery. If you are curious to learn mysteries of the world, space and beyond, consider subscribing. Since the early days of space exploration, scientists have been deeply involved in investigating how factors like microgravity and cosmic radiation inherent to the space environment affect the growth and development of plants. Their primary goal has been to develop superior crop varieties capable of thriving in space conditions. Over time, this research has yielded impressive results, with various studies and experiments contributing to our understanding of how plants can adapt and evolve in space. China, in particular, has been actively engaged in space breeding since the 1980s, marking its entry into this exciting field using recoverable Shenzhou spacecraft. Through these missions, plants have been exposed to the unique conditions of space, including cosmic radiation, and microgravity. These conditions have induced a wide range of changes at the cellular, subcellular, genomic, chromosomal, and biochemical levels, resulting in the emergence of crop varieties with diverse genetic traits and characteristics. China's journey in space breeding began in 1987 when it sent its first crop seeds into space. In the three decades since, China has conducted more than 30 space experiments involving plant seeds, seedlings, and strains, leading to the cultivation of nearly 1,000 new crop varieties. These innovative approaches aim to enhance crop performance in outer space, and they have achieved this by inducing various chemical and biological transformations. Cosmic radiation, in particular, has been instrumental in causing genetic polymorphism and the creation of mutated crops. These mutations are not expected to imbue superhuman abilities upon consumption, but rather to empower the next generation of crops with increased resilience to diverse environmental conditions and higher yields. Rice, a staple crop that feeds a substantial portion of the global population, holds particular significance in the context of future deep space exploration. China recently reported its successful harvest of what it calls space rice, or rice from heaven. These rice seeds were flown aboard the Chang's 5 mission in 2020 and have demonstrated remarkable productivity, surpassing the average yield of traditional rice cultivation in China. China's space breeding endeavors have not been limited to rice alone. They have encompassed a wide array of staple foods and vegetable crops, including wheat, corn, peppers, and tomatoes, among others. Among the 66 mutant crop varieties generated, the Enonto space bread type in particular stands out for its larger size and heightened aroma compared to regular morel mushrooms. These achievements mark significant milestones in the ongoing quest to harness space for the betterment of agriculture and human exploration beyond Earth's boundaries. Based on projections, this year's crop yield may approach 480 kilograms per hectare, representing a significant increase compared to standard varieties, which typically yield between 150. A researcher from the Kunming Institute of Botany has noted that the mushroom that survives a journey to space even possesses a more appealing aroma. According to experts, China may collaborate with other nations to enhance food production particularly in regions like Africa and Latin America, where domestic food resources are limited. The focus of this collaboration would be on breeding indigenous crops to enhance productivity, resistance to pests and diseases, and overall resilience achieved through space breeding. 
This initiative aligns with China's commitment as a responsible global power. To showcase its capabilities, China has recently achieved a remarkable feat by surpassing Elon Musk's SpaceX with the successful launch of the UK-2 rocket developed by the Chinese company LandSpace. The rocket reached orbit after taking off from the Jiuquan Satellite Launch Center in the Gobi Desert. This achievement was confirmed by the US Space Force, as astrophysicist and satellite tracker Jonathan McDowell tweeted about the methane-fueled rocket's successful orbit entry. This accomplishment marks a significant milestone for the UK-2 rocket, which had encountered an anomaly during its initial flight on December 14, 2022. Methane, despite being a greenhouse gas, is considered more environmentally friendly for rocket propulsion than the conventional RP-1 kerosene used in many rockets. Several US companies, including SpaceX with its Starship system, Blue Origin with New Glenn, Rocket Lab with Neutron, United Launch Alliance with Vulcan Centaur, and Relativity Space with its Terran line, are also working on methane-fueled rockets. However, some of these vehicles have experienced setbacks in recent months, such as Terran One's failure to reach orbit during its debut launch in March and SpaceX's Starship, experiencing anomalies during testing. It's worth noting that SpaceX's Starship is being developed for potential missions to Mars, where methane fuel could be sourced, emphasizing the importance of this technology in future space exploration endeavors. Additionally, Vulcan Centaur's first flight, initially scheduled for early May, was delayed due to an anomaly during the rocket's upper stage testing. China, along with its private space companies, has been exceptionally active in terms of launches, with a total of 54 missions to orbit in 2022. They are now aiming for more than 60 launches in 2023. To provide some context, SpaceX, the busiest US launcher, sent 61 rockets into space in 2022. While the global space community closely follows these remarkable developments, it's essential to recognize China's significant contributions to the field of space exploration. China's progress in the space race is nothing short of remarkable, especially when considering its relatively late entry into the competition. Just half a century ago, in 1970, China achieved a significant milestone by placing its first satellite into orbit. This achievement occurred amidst the challenges posed by the Cultural Revolution. To put this into perspective, during the same period, NASA was already halfway through its work on the Voyager spacecraft, which would be launched within the next seven years. Fast forward to today, and China has achieved numerous milestones, including launching over 200 rockets in the past decade, sending unmanned missions to the moon, and establishing its own space station after being excluded from the International Space Station. China's commitment to its space endeavors is evident in the sheer scale of its efforts. According to China's state media Xinhua, at least 300,000 individuals have contributed to the country's space projects. This number is nearly 18 times the workforce of NASA. The ongoing space race between the United States and China is entering an exciting new phase, with China preparing to challenge the James Webb Space Telescope using a fleet of miniature satellites designed for deep space exploration. Chinese scientists are developing a constellation called the Catch Chasing All Transients Constellation Hunters, consisting of more than 100 microsatellites, each equipped with a compact X-ray telescope. This approach contrasts with the prevailing trend of building larger telescopes to probe deeper into the universe. As we witness these remarkable developments, it's crucial to remember that Earth's long-term space travel ambitions, including future missions to Mars, will require self-sufficiency in food production. Consequently, the cultivation of food in space is becoming an imperative.